In this video, you'll find out the thing you don't want to do when performing, whatever performing means in your situation. My name is James, I'm a rowing coach based in Southwest London. And if you want to see a video of me coaching rowing, you can click this link here. Okay, let's crack on with it. Now to explain the thing that you don't want to do, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my grandmother. Grandbo, as I call her, is going to be 100 in a couple of weeks time and she's still as sharp as a tack. And as you can see from this picture, Grandbo absolutely loves a cup of tea. In fact, I don't think I've seen Grandbo drink anything other than tea when she's thirsty. Now when Grandbo has a cup of tea, it has to be made in a proper teapot and served in a proper teacup with a saucer. Anyway, when I went to go and visit Grambo back when we were allowed to do things like that, I thought we should sit down and have a chat with a cup of tea. So I made some tea in a proper pot, making sure to warm the pot first, just like I'd been taught to by my grandpa, who also loved a cup of tea. And after I'd waited for the tea to brew, I poured a couple of cups and placed those cups on a tray so I could carry them through to where Grandma was sitting. Now, I'd filled the cups of tea quite full. In fact, they were almost up to the brim, so I had to be really careful when carrying the cups of tea to make sure that they didn't spill any. And I carried the tea on the tray along the corridor to where Grandma was sitting. I got about halfway along the corridor when I looked down at the tea and thought, don't spill any tea. Well, what do you think happened after that? Yes, you're right, I started to shake, the cups and the saucers started to clatter and rattle, and tea went absolutely everywhere. I'm sure you've had the same experience. You've carried a tray of drinks, whether they were pints of beer or mojitos. Got a few friends who love a mojito, Shane and Dave if you're watching, and you've been doing fine with not spilling the drinks, but all of a sudden you start to shake and the beer ends up on the floor. All the while, your mates are looking at you like you're a complete numpty as you've just spilt their drink. Now, here's the problem. As I told you, I looked down at the tray of tea and thought, don't spill the tea. And when you're performing, whatever that performance may be, it's the more primitive parts of your brain which are controlling your actions. And those primitive parts use images for those actions. Also, all those images are positive. It's not possible to have a negative action. Now, all the while, my thoughts of don't spill the tea came to me in words. Words are used by the much less primitive parts of the brain. And there's a fight between the more primitive parts of the brain and the less primitive parts of the brain, the words and the images. And one of the issues is, is that the primitive part of the brain doesn't understand the word don't, and it takes a shortcut for it. So in my instance, when my brain was telling myself in words, don't spill the tea, the primitive part was thinking in the images of spill the tea. And you can see this in people who suffer from frontal temporal dementia. And although this is a really nasty ailment, just like any other form of dementia, people who suffer from frontal temporal dementia experience a burst of creativity as their dementia progresses. And this happens because the part of the brain which does the editing that gives us the don't do that thoughts is the part which deteriorates first. This leaves the part of the brain which is creative and produces the actions. And this is the reason that if you're doing some sort of creative pursuit, whether that's art or writing or something like that, then you should just get out a first draft without editing it as you go, because the editing inhibits the action. So whilst you're producing a performance, whether that is in the arts or in sport, or simply just carrying some tea through to your grandmother, you should never edit your actions as you go. So don't think, don't. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.